touchline here on Y254 on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. After a very cold Friday, today seems that the sun is out there and people are actually enjoying the sun. And here in the studio, we're here to talk about everything that has been happening in the world of sports. And let's go a bit rugby on everything that has been happening in the Tokyo Olympic 2020. And joining us to talk about everything when it comes to matters rugby is Kikechi Kombo, the Director of Youth and Innovation at the Kenya Rugby Union. Malimu, welcome to Y254. Welcome to the Touchline. Thank you. Thank you, Bwano Sora. And it's good to see you again. Yeah, yeah, it's been a uh, hectic year. <laughs> it's been a hectic year. Yeah. And it seems that it has been not a good Olympics for us, we can say. Uh, yeah, okay, for the area that we participated, yeah. but we are like, anticipating. As uh, mm. the time goes by, there are more events coming up, and uh, you know where we are strong. Yes. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to do well. We yeah. have seen uh, 800, uh, mm. so we have, we still have stipulations for women. Yeah. I know trophies will, uh, sorry, we'll be getting some medals there. Yeah, we hoped that we'll start with the 10,000 meters yesterday, but it was not, it never happened for us in that one. But as Mualim said, we've got Mary Mora getting on to the semifinals of the 800 meters. And we'll be hoping that when it comes to the 5,000 and 1,500, also steeplechase, those will be our gold medals. But let's talk about uh, rugby and everything that has been happening there. Fiji, world champions again when it comes to Olympics. Seems they have got a knock, a knack of how to win the Olympics medal. Yeah, okay, they have been systematic, and uh, when you see the Fijian rugby and the population in general, they have uh, accepted that um, actually rugby is their game. Yes. Uh, the whole population, and also they have um, have having a very good uh, structure, developmental structure. Mm -hmm. uh, it's made them to go all the way. While well, they won in Rio, at the yes. same time, the next Olympic, so this Olympic again, they have won against uh, New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Uh, you've seen the, the women also rugby also going to the final and losing to New Zealand. Actually, yes. you see men losing to Fiji and also it's a revenge for the women in New Zealand yes. also winning. So th th that seems a very good structure. And when you look at the Fijian players, you can see the likes of um, yes. Serevi, the magician, then coming in of Jerry Tuai, uh, carrying on now, you can be able to see the Relangi also. These yes. are very good players. If you look at Osea, they are also very good players. And uh, that tells us the structure the Fijians are having. And yeah. they seems they have mastered uh, the game of uh, the, the seventh game of rugby <coughs> yeah a, a big one for fiji there congratulations to them and winning that one but let's bring it back home here for the kenya the shuja and also the lioness on our performance we lost our three matches in the pool one against ireland what can be our biggest lesson from this year's olympics uh okay well the, the way i look at it um they have uh, improved as um, yes. it went on to uh, Rio and yeah. find that we've been having that consistency. You know, sevens, um, it's been our, our game. Yes. And uh, since players have also been an athletic nation, we've been able to do well uh, because of uh, the version of the game. Yeah. Uh, but this time around, you see, the way we are playing, but there were some areas actually that probably the coaches would be able to look and uh, be able to improve. Um, the, especially on, uh, on Shijia, probably on the breakdowns and all that. Yeah. But uh, it's also about uh, the, our structures and uh, the development which, which the Kenya Rugby Union now is putting on. Yeah. Uh, to see that now people, as the other players, see the captain also now calling it. Um, uh, uh -huh, that, uh, yes. yeah, um, we've uh -huh. done it now, it uh, played for the nation. We say thank you for the captain, actually, Andrew Monde. So yeah. now. It has been a journey for him a, in rugby. Yeah, and uh, we've been one of the captain of winning uh, Singapore 7 for the first time, yes. uh, that, that leg. In, uh, 2016 mm -hmm. and uh, now he says fine let me also now give it out to the other players we can be able to see the young players who are coming up like Olindi performing yeah. well uh -huh. in that game of uh, Ireland that shows yes. us the pro way that uh, Kenya rugby is putting in place mm -hmm. so it's a lesson uh, much improved as uh, we went down to Rio and uh, probably as we go next now in 2024 yeah. we we'll work out to qualify and then we'll be able now to do well even the lioness you see yeah. how they played yesterday against japan yeah. uh, winning uh, 27 5 and going down today to canada but see now the margin as it was in rio yeah it's much improved but despite that we even had uh, five girls who are not training they were in uh, isolation yeah. because of um, uh, the COVID issue, mm -hmm. uh, but now coming in the last few days and we're only having seven players in the camp and they can be able to do that. Now, it's not a factor that affected um, our performance in, uh, in Rio, mm -hmm. but we expect uh, we come back, we'll be able to focus on and correct as uh, we've put structures in the development structure. B big one there because also we understand that uh, we had the oldest squad in this year's Olympics, meaning that these other teams, their young guys were very too fast for us. 
Yeah, well, well, <laughs> you know, with the, when it comes to the game, it's about experience. Probably yes. we had the old squad and most experience. Uh, mm -hmm. You remember 1999 when the mm -hmm. Fiji actually uh, Fiji were rated out in the yes. when the world rugby, and people said they had the oldest squad they can go to run, mm -hmm. uh, Kna Serevi, mm -hmm. but they went on to to win that uh, to win to, to win that championship in yeah. uh, in 20, 20, uh, 2099. Yeah. So uh, what 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 we are saying that uh, it's just luck, and uh, probably the game was also changing. In terms mm -hmm. of um, uh, what they are kind of putting on a lot of uh, uh, involvement in terms of technology and all that. Yeah. So uh, as the other ones bore out, uh, mm -hmm. probably it's probably not a, I mean, a factor this time round. Mm -hmm. But now so we're also going to look into that, and that's why you see the coach what he was doing was trying to integrate the young guys and the, the old guys as they bore out. Mm -hmm. We already have our structure, but this time round, as way statistics showed. Mm -hmm. That Kenya actually had the, the oldest squad and yeah. the most experienced squad, which could have actually uh, probably won. Yeah. But luck was not on our side on this day, uh, this time. Mm, uh, also, f f from my own point of view, I'm of the idea that our teams were also affected by COVID-19 because we were almost a year out of no competition. Yes, they, are, they were in camp and training, yeah. but missing Kenya Cup matches. Did this affect these uh, these boys and girls? Because now these these guys were not in farm competition going on to this competition. Yeah, yeah, it does because uh, what normally happens with uh, any competition is about the coach and we have players who are coming up and uh, they, are, they, are, they are graduating from yes. from one level to another. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we have those kind of competition, the coach can be able to see which type of player is probably is not playing well and there's another player who is playing well. Mm -hmm. So it really affected. Remember, rugby has not been played from 2020 March. Yes. Yeah, we yeah. just came back recently and uh, there was a lot of interruption with the COVID. So it, it's played a, a, a big, a big, um, a big um, uh, disadvantage on our side. Mm -hmm. And also not having played uh, the seven circuit. Seven circuit normally yes. it's uh, an area where coaches also go down and uh, they mm -hmm. select uh, players based on the competition but mm. having lacked that seven competition we also have safari sevens actually which yeah. we invite foreign teams to come mm -hmm. and be able to gauge our players and uh, the coach can also now be able to see which players is uh, probably uh, meeting around 80 percent who is doing 100 percent who is doing 60 percent mm -hmm. then now you can be able to have his uh, squad also and that's also we normally have um, um, a, a team b uh, yes. that's a developmental site also playing but mm -hmm. have not having the first sevens, that also hindered also having uh, the development side from playing. Because normally when they play, you can have two or three players also from the development side mm -hmm. replacing the guys in, uh, in the A team. Yes. So it, it was a, it's a back, it was actually a, a big disadvantage uh, uh, for us, yeah. uh, the COVID issue. But um, having the camp and the government also coming in to support NOC, mm -hmm. uh, it was, and also having the, the, Af the rugby free competition in South Africa and uh, Tunisia. You see, that was another factor that also be able, was able to uplift our preparation for the Olympics. Yeah. It's true. Well, big one there for us when it comes to the Olympics. Robert Osoro here for the touchline on social media is y at Y254, hashtag touchline. And we are giving you everything that is happening when it comes to matters. Sports, a big one there for Kenya. Let's bring it back home here. And we've got uh, uh, one game that will be happening today, K KCB. Rugby will be playing against top friend Nakuru at the KCB Sports Club Ruaraka from 3 p.m. And then uh, two matches Impala, Strat Molios that was supposed to happen at Impala from 1. That game has actually been postponed. And then Mwamba and Nondescripts also. Just to be a double header there, but the game has also been postponed. And now we'll be watching the defending champions KCB go out against Top Fry at the Ruaraka grounds from 3 p.m. Big news yeah. also that came out this weekend, uh, Paul Odera, the Chipu coach also resigning. <laughs> no, I think uh, be able to, uh, okay, well, the information, okay, probably I've also seen it, yes. and uh, we probably, the board, the chairman will be able to be reacting with it, but I have not seen as a board um, yes. on that area of uh, discussion. So but I've just also seen it on the social media. Social media circles. Yeah, yeah sure. Wow, yeah. big one there. Well, well, I think the information will be coming out probably soon. Yeah. Yes. And then KCB, 
top fry. Big game at three today. Yeah, yeah, it's a big one coming up, and uh, it's, it's also it's an advantage for the fans, not uh, who are waiting to have a watch their matches uh, yes. on, on the TV. Mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, Mwamba, Mwamba, and uh, Nondis and yes. uh, Impala and Stratmo, uh, mm -hmm. but that one has been postponed. But mm -hmm. that it will be set another day when mm -hmm. they will also be able to enjoy the matches. But yeah. this one is a big one. KCB also working hard, probably mm -hmm. to to probably to maintain uh, to. To retain the cup, Kabila um, is also playing well, and we've seen for the few matches they have played. Yeah. So we, ex we expect a, a big match ahead. But today, probably KCB, the way I've, I've seen the rating, KCB and uh, mm -hmm. and and, and, and Akuru. Yes. Uh, well, KCB might be having a upper hand, but now with preparation, how it is, mm -hmm. normally it scotches how they prepare their team. Anything can happen. Yeah. Yeah. And so, but I think it's a good match also. It's, uh, it's good to see that rugby is back and uh, people are playing rugby. It's good yeah. for, for the players also. Briefly, because we, we didn't... Uh, Bats Cup. Yeah, but, uh, boys uh, performed but also very well. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Winning, uh, that was a, a big one for, for Kenya. And defending champions Defending again. champions, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I expect for them to award rugby a junior trophy. Yeah. Uh, they're representing Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, probably, if all goes well, we'll be hosting. They, they'll be, what rugby will be announcing probably next year, mm -hmm. uh, the host. Yeah. And Kenya had uh, placed um, to host yeah. the, the championship. So we might be able to get it, and then I think that will be okay also a big plus so that people can watch it home. Last year we played in Brazil, mm -hmm. and you saw how the boys played. They played well, and mm -hmm. some of them now have graduated. They are playing for Simbas. Yes. Yeah, Simbas also qualifying for the next level uh, yeah. competition. Mm -hmm. We expect for the World Cup um, coming up in France in 2023. Yeah. So we are on course, and uh, coaches will be preparing the team for that. Oh, yeah, sure. Great one. Yeah, even Lioness also. Yeah. They are also working out playing to play against Colombia mm -hmm. uh, for World Cup qualifying. That's before now they go for for the replay charge. Yes. Uh, so we expect them will be hosting Colombia here in Nairobi. So we expect when to win that, that come. This is August. Mm -hmm. uh, to be in twenty eighth and twenty fourth on August. Okay. I might not be able to know the date, yes. but it's in August. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we expect and Lioness to do well to win against Colombia. Then uh, we go for three pages and work yeah. out to qualify for the World Cup. Simbas did well in uh, France, you saw. We were yeah. able to play in France. Mm -hmm. But for the first time, you see now that initially we had not gone for three pages, but this for the first time. Yeah. So that places us where we are now in, in Africa we mm -hmm. with the ratings, Kenya yeah. being number two are behind South Africa. So our rugby is on track. Oh, thanks a lot, Malim. We'll leave it there till the next time. But next time, we hope we'll be talking about how we are going to win those medals. But uh, these boys from the Bass Cup, they are showing a lot of promise yeah. when, it, when it, it, it goes forward and actually get to World Rugby Junior Trophy there. It is the touchline here on Y254. Let's go for a short commercial break. When we come back, it will be all about the fan zone and everything that is happening in football, considering that Ivory Coast have lost 5-2 to Spain in the quarterfinals of the Olympics. <laughs> 